back with another product review. This is another product from the company Archer Outdoor Gears. This is a double layer ground sheet reflectant. So it does have two uh, reflecting uh, sides like that. You can keep the warmth in your body and it's also waterproof. It's 78.7 .7 by 78.7. .7. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the stuff sack that it comes with. Uh, the stuff sack that it comes with does have a drawstring like that you can tighten it up. I would suggest to put this on the outside of your backpack because it, it is a little bit on the large side, but you can, as you can see, if you roll it up a little bit tighter, you can stuff it down or it could fit on the outside of your backpack, which is this is a great thing to carry. Uh, in a survival situation just for the fact is that it will keep the warmth in and it is waterproof so I could uh, find I, I, I found a little few other things that I can use it for and I'll be showing you that later in the video what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be taking it out of the stuff sack and I'm gonna be showing you uh, exactly how big it is and uh, I'm also gonna show you the thickness of this pad Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next part of the video. What I wanted to show you right now is I wanted to show you the thickness of this pad right here. This is the thickness of the pad. Uh, it's really nicely constructed, and it does have reflectant on both sides. So like I said, this in a survival situation, if you want to use it for a ground sheet and um, a, a tarp that you might pitch as a tent or a tent that might not have a bottom or even if you have a tent that um, has a bottom and if you want to put it inside your tent and you want to double it up this would be perfect to keep warmth in or say if you wanted to pitch it over your rain fly it would go perfectly but there is another way that I know that you could probably pitch it that I am going to be demonstrating later uh, but what I want to show you guys right now is I want to show you exactly how big this uh, ground sheet is here we go guys okay everyone before I get with the rest of the video I did want to do a weigh in of this uh, footprint uh, it hardly weighs anything at all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a scale and I want to see exactly how much it weighs there you go guys it weighs in at eight point it weighs in at 8.9 ounces. That's what it's weighing at, 8.9 ounces. That's my weigh-in for this uh, ground uh, footprint. So really nice, uh, only 8.9 ounces. Doesn't weigh hardly nothing at all. So what I'm gonna do next, guys, is I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the video. Thank you very much. I have unraveled the footprint. Like I said, it says it's 78. 0.7 by 78.7 .7. so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and measure it and I'm gonna see the exact size and feet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now I'm gonna go ahead and measure it this way from the middle and I'm also gonna measure it from this th this corner to that corner right there from that corner right there okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and I'm gonna give you the size I'm looking at uh, six feet four inches and a half from here to here. And I'm looking at the same thing right here six feet four inches and a half from there to there as well. So I was looking at six feet, four inches and a half from here, and then six feet, four inches and a half all the way up to here all, as well. So there you go. That's how big it is in feet. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be uh, showing you, uh, a, you can use it, like I said, you can use this as a ground sheet to lay on. And the other thing that I think you could really do with this, I honestly think from the center middle right here, you could probably also pitch this as a, if you don't have nothing, you could pitch it on the top like that. You can use it as a cover. So I really think you could actually use it for that as well. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay on it like that you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, so what I did right now is I folded it in half and I'm going to lay on it like that I can see how warm it really feels down on the ground while the sun is hitting it and to see what kind of heat it does retain. So I'm going to go ahead and lay on it right now and I'm also, I also want to feel how comfortable it is because this is probably the way I would use it. I would probably pitch a tarp and I would probably fold it in half just like that. You would have uh, more support in the bottom and then what I'd probably do is put my uh, sleeping bag on top of it and because I always carry a tarp so that's what I mainly do. I'd probably pitch a tarp and then put this on the bottom and then what I would do is just put my uh, um, my sleeping bag and I'd probably be more than comfortable with it so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to see how much a warmth it does retain while the sun is hitting it so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that test right now. I can feel a lot of warmth in this general area right here so it does retain a lot of warmth here and it is while the sun is hitting you do have a really nice reflecting here where it does keep warm temperatures drawn to your body so I really like the fact that it does keep warmth to your body that is really nice that it does work the way it says it does work so the next thing guys I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, show you a trick with this and I am gonna attempt to pitch it with my trekking poles I have my trekking poles right here guys and what I'm going to do is I am going to attempt to uh, pitch it with my trekking poles and see what I get out of this and see if it's going to work as a maybe just a minute shelter just to get out of uh, rain and maybe try to warm up a little bit uh, so I'm going to try to do that and I'm going to see how that works out and how much room that actually gives you inside so I'm going to be right back with that guys. Everyone, this is a footprint bit. As you can see, I found a different way that you could use this. I made a ridge with my trekking poles and I did an A-frame style configuration. What I did in the corners right there, I just got small little rounded pebbles and I ended up tying my line to it all the way down to stakes. And as you can see, I made an instant small shelter like that you can uh, get out of the elements uh, and it is going to help you with warmth it is it is uh, it does have the reflecting lining on the inside right here and also on the outside what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around and show you uh, this is where I did my tie off points from my trekking pole I tied it to the to the ball head of the trekking pole, the, the, the top part of the trekking pole, all the way to the bottom. And I just tied it and I just ran it all the way down to a line. Uh, there is my tripod and it is staked all the way down that way. And then what I did, guys, I'm gonna take you around and show you what I did is I just got these a little tiny pebble like this and I just tied the line through it and then I just ran it down. Oh, what did this, this is just a rope uh, extra rope it is for demonstration purposes only what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take you around and I am gonna go back like that you can see that is what I did to it and again here is another tie-off point right there as you can see and then I ran it all the way down and I just staked it and uh, here is the other tie-off point from the trekking pole that leads all the way down this way and goes down to a stake just like that so as you can see guys this even works out well here's the other tie off point really easy like I said if you guys want me to show you how to do this you don't have to have a uh, tarp or anything with grommets or anything if you just have something that is water resistant you can use um, you just can use rope and you can use small little pebbles tie it off and then just stake it down and it's gonna work just the same what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out like that you can take a look at it and it's gonna be just like that guys really nice and very roomy inside 
all you have to do is I'm gonna take you inside here and as you can see we're in here we have the a-frame configuration and we are using trekking poles guys we are using just the trekking poles that's all I'm using and if you have two trees of course you can run a guy line from one tree to another and you could also set it up the same way as an a-frame configuration as long as you have a long uh, long nylon cordage and it'll work just the same way I would uh, use uh, I would use the 550 paracord that's what I would use uh, that's what I always try to carry with me this is just uh, some uh, some paracord that's uh, not 550 that's a little bit smaller that came with a tarp uh, that I recently reviewed so I'm just using that really uh, just really quick but just to show you you can use any type of cordage but this can be used as a shelter as well because it is water resistant so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to leave the link to this um, footprint in the description I just wanted to show you that you can use it in a multiple different ways not only as a footprint you can use it as an emergency shelter just like I'm showing you there so that's why I always carry trekking poles uh, because they do come in very handy for walking and also for setting up emergency shelters just like this so guys I'm gonna leave the link in the description and uh, if you have any questions on this uh, footprint please feel free to leave me any messages you guys on Amazon and YouTube uh, thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next video